You may take our lives. They may take our lives. But they will never take our freedom. Our freedom. Yeah, that's pretty bad, huh? Donatar Castle, I don't even know if that's how you say it. The lens is a little bit wet. We are in the rain and it's supposed to be our first day of the nature video shoot. And we have an amazing castle behind us and we can't shoot it every time we bring the drone out. The lens fills up with water, so we're a little bit bummed out. Come on. Okay, here we go, go ahead. Finally got the drone in the air and it's actually super nice right now other than the gray clouds but that's kind of what you expect when you're in good old Scotland. And we got some cool shots with this new X7 camera from DJI with our Inspire 2. And we took it up in the air, we got some sweet shots with the wide lens on the castle and then we also got some long lens stuff with the 50 mil. You definitely look a lot happier than you were like oh, an hour ago. Relax girl, relax. <laughs> Stuart, what castle are we at right now? Crathis Castle. Crathis. Yep. Let's take a wee bit of stroll in the garden. <laughs> There's Dyson in his natural habitat. Too early. Too early? Not yeah, yet? 30. Okay, we'll try this later. <laughs> Bye guys. What happened was the uh, these broke on us yesterday, the landing gear, so when that's lowered, I guess it turns off your obstacle sensor. I thought it was above the tree line, but if you look up there, like the one tree that sticks up above everything else, I didn't know it was there, I didn't know it'd be that tall. Uh, we're really lucky we found it, some water damage, could have been a lot worse. We'll keep filming. So here we are, since we had our little mishap with the drone, we had to come to the, the B team of viaduct passings, we'll say. So we just have Canon Mark IV with an inner velometer going. I wanted to get a little bit of motion blur with the train. Since I can't get it every time, when the time lapse goes, you'll see the train kind of flowing through. So you won't get a crisp picture of it, but everything else will be. 16 to 35, settings are aperture 18, half a second uh, shutter speed. Uh, ISO 200 on the Mark IV. So we just shot the train from Harry Potter. And this is the bridge from Harry Potter as well, which makes it super famous. I headed up here, we got the red out, got a beautiful shot of it going along, the steam comes out, it's super fun. Here we are, we are at Loch Ness Lake. I'm by myself, everyone else in the car. It's quite a hike to get up here. My shoes are full of water. We got Loch Ness Lake, Loch Ness Monster right there. Boats, castles, sheep, grass, you know, just Scotland at its finest. Scott life. This is Liam. He's our new uh, drone pilot since I am inept and unable to fly drones. Good morning. Liam's saving the day. Welcome to Scotland. Thanks, Liam. What bird are you flying? Flying the Inspire 2, the nice. X5S. Beautiful. Beautiful drone, beautiful camera. Uh, and that'll do until they, they give us an X7. Getting ready to go shoot some castles. Got all the essentials. Check it out, guys. This is proof. Ooh. Eight freaking K. Okay, guys, so as seen on Kickstarter, I called the genie, so I don't know which is which, but you can look that up. This is a new slider they sent to us. Um, they didn't ask us to say anything. I am going to show you how it works and also if we like it or not. You just have the one motor, and if you come in close here, so it just pulls this rope through. And this is a time-lapse slider. If you don't know what that is, it takes a picture and then it moves. So I can fully adjust how much it moves, how much of a delay it has, based on my intervals and my shutter speeds. Uh, every time I take a picture, it moves ever so slightly. So that's how we're getting these horizontal movements. Okay, so here we've got the Genie slider again. Notice I have it on a nice incline. It's the first time I've done an incline, so I'm seeing how the motor does. Um, 
It's not super steep, but it's definitely climbing up these rocks. You can see all the settings right here. It tells you how many images you're taking. So I'm taking 251, it's gonna last eight minutes. It also can tell you the distance that you're traveling along your slider. So 85 centimeters is about the entire slider length. And this angle right here is telling me how much I'm panning. So right now, that's what this guy does, this guy pans. So I'm panning 18 degrees. I'm gonna start right here and I'm gonna end facing about right there. So cool little system so far. Um, nothing that I don't like about it and a lot of stuff that I do. Another thing when you're working with sliders, you always wanna make sure that you have foreground. Unless you have something you're moving against, you're not gonna see the movement. So that's why I put it next to these rocks. They're not overtaking my shot, but I see them just a little bit that you can tell I'm moving right to left. That's how the slider works. That's also how Tyson works when he's doing his hyperlapses. Got your grid, and basically what I did on this last shot is you just take a point, like that point maybe, and then you line that point up with that point on the castle. That way, so when, as I'm moving, that point never moves on the composition of the camera. And so it works really smooth. So we've got the drone up in the sky right now, right there. No tourists are here, which is how we want to shoot things. We want to make sure that it looks um, totally secluded. Nobody's around. And so we are hiding while that thing is in the air getting the shot. I don't know if this is working or not, but I just started my time lapse and the tide is rising. So my time lapse gear, I was about 10 feet out of the water about four minutes ago. And now the water's right at my time lapse rig. So I'm just gonna sit here because I really don't want to restart this thing. Getting time lapses of the castle with the lights on in the rain in Scotland. Update. The tide did in fact come in and it ruined everything. Almost tipped my rig and my camera in the water, but good thing I was sitting there in the water and I got it. Now we're going to go eat. What are we doing down here, Ty? We're hiding from the rain. It's raining like crazy. So we decided to find some shelter underneath this bridge. Kind of a trek to get down here. So slippery and mossy. It's the first waterfall we've seen. And so we were like, we gotta get that before we go home. So we were up there filming, cameras were getting wet, it wasn't working. Fire found some shelter under the bridge, so followed him down here. Got a few good shots. Now we're just getting time lapse. Visit Scotland nature video. So much fun and we have the man, Connor, right here. He's the one that basically planned this entire trip, got everything going, made it run as smooth as possible and in my opinion it was amazing and it was one of the best trips that I've been on. I mean we competed with some weather issues but Scotland's incredible whatever the weather. Check out uh, visitscotland.com, follow us on Instagram at visitscotland and uh, Twitter, Facebook, you can get us on all the main channels. Uh, I mean, learn more about us. You're gonna see what these guys get up to while they were here in Scotland. Had an absolute awesome time, blast with these guys. Big shout to my own team. Yes. Um, who helped these yes. guys plan this ship. Um, honestly, couldn't have done it without you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Because of you, we can do these videos. Thanks for watching. Over, over and out. out.